Welcome back people. I am your host SK Gitonga and this is Unfinished, the only place where we finish unfinished matters. Today we're talking about relationships and on to our next question. How do you deal with a breakup? Let me know in the comment section. Um, I think maybe going out, um, partying with friends and maybe eating a lot. That usually helps me out. Yeah, so uh, eventually I'll just feel better over time. But time heals everything. Vile na za advice mse ya kiacho ama mkiachana, take it easy. You na accept kwanza, alafu na ka for some times. Usimove, usichukue mse mwingine. Kama ulikuwa tu meka for long, unaza tu chagua kukapeki yako, you choose the liberty life. Yeah. Breakups are which... I guess you just have to take it. I mean, it was coming, but unless you're married, if just it's boyfriend girlfriend stuff, a breakup might happen. And if it does, you just you just take it. No need to do something stupid about it. It's bad, but yeah, take it. Mm, breakups, like when you break up with a man, una move on fast. Yeah, immediately. Atakama mbiliko miacha na let's say for. You move on the next day. I guess that is the best way because I'm water you're not stupid. Yeah. Um, I'd, um, I'd say um, you deal with your emotions. Like you cry if you're a crier. Like you're okay in denial. Like you're okay because it's a good thing. It will still come back because you're a human being and you have to process your feelings. So I feel, okay, I think that you should deal with it. Na usi, no, like you deal with it, kabisa, kabisa. If you're a crier, you cry. If you're someone who gets depressed, you have pajamas all day and you wallow, just do that, yeah. Breakup is just like sipping water. You sip water and then once it's done, it's done. So you move on, you take another cup of water, yeah. <laughs> Break up. <laughs> First you cry. <laughs> uh, after after maybe crying and uh, going through everything, maybe the feelings and maybe feeling betrayed or maybe maybe you are the one who betrayed someone. You come and learn and that you are able to be there for for the the amount of period you are there. You are, be, you are able to enjoy that time with each other. But in the end, you should like, <laughs> one should just accept it, which is difficult maybe for people who have been in love and everything. But for um, after some time, you know, time heals everything and time heals all wounds. So I would say that get out there. Don't resent the maybe the opposite gender or maybe a type of gender, maybe your heart in some way. So uh, once you break up with someone, just try to move on, forgive, or maybe be forgiven for what you did, and, uh, and just try to find other relationships because there's always something better out there. Maybe we communication na moja moja break, then your life will move on regardless. Ita kungoja wa nzo kulia, wanzo kuregret. Find something else to keep you busy. So watch your kufikiri obse. Break up na tegeme me kujia kivipi. Maybe nimtu ameni cheat from maybe kufanya. Uh, inaitwaje kufanya uchunguzi wangu maybe kupitia simu ya mpenzi wangu maybe nikuja nikagundua ana communication na mtu mwingine kando na mimi mwenyewe ku, kuja kushika hiyo simu yake maybe ama ku, kumfumania rasmi yeah that's tough because um, people actually get to deal with uh, different things during breakups so while well, chilling out with friends playing video games and Maybe not looking for clinging on to um, your ex, your immediate ex. I think that would be good for me. So don't text them. Just completely move on, do other things, because there are a lot of people out there who are lo also looking for partners and everything. Yeah. I've never broken up. So when we get there, I think we'll cry a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We we'll cry a lot, <laughs> and after crying, we move on with life because out to We cry and we move on to the to nendelea to atuzi choma soko pia to nendelea to to rudi kwa soko tena and we try we give it another shot. But at least after learning, uh, whatever made the previous one to break or whatever uh, brought the breakup, at least it was a lesson to the next relationship. That when we get to this challenge, we know how to handle it now. My unfinished matter is 
ukiblokiwa blokika ukiachwa achika but personally i am a cry baby so mimi nitalia nilie alafu nikule cuz mimi as long as my stomach is full i'm okay and then okay on a, like a serious note nikionele message ya confirmed you have received i heal on to our next question what do you consider as cheating in a relationship let me know what you think um maybe texting girls okay it it actually starts with your thoughts and then it becomes an action so when you start texting random girls or like dming them that's actually cheating to me yeah tuseme mali mmoja ko na rafiki wengi wa the other gender na aja ku introduce kwa wao ataki wajue na ajawi kuambia kuwa usu na most of the times ana hang out na wao na ana receive calls na wao ama ana ka interact waki wakiongea mambo mengi ambayo ujui yes, cheating. cheating if your partner is doing something intimate with someone else that's cheating okay i have a boyfriend i have a girlfriend <laughs> sorry if you go around kissing other dudes or sleeping with other dudes that's cheating but then if you do other stuff like getting too intimate with them not necessarily doing anything that's disrespect so it's cheating still yeah communication unaona kuna venye mlikuwa mnaongea sana like anakujulia hali but akiri this communication utajua to this one ame concentrate ama ana pay much attention kwa another person yeah obviously the physical things um also some forms of emotional cheating such as um i don't know like if you're giving someone if it's a boy and you're giving another girl the girlfriend treatment that's cheating and obviously i've mentioned the physical stuff that's obvious yeah so i feel like um um emotional cheating and physical cheating emotional cheating ni yenye um una pay mtu mwingine girlfriend treatment like you t- you talk to them all the time and instead of telling your significant other unaambia mtu mwingine that's some form of cheating in my opinion cheating starts from flirting as long as i see you i'm working with you and you're looking at someone that's cheating when you're flirting you're making you're doing things that you usually do with me but chinyamaji ama ama just openly that's cheating but mimi i think flirting is cheating yeah cheating <laughs> cheating is very easy <laughs> uh if you're with a partner there are other there are certain limitations to what you should be doing with other people out there which includes intimate uh, intimate actions with other people which hugging kissing maybe uh, of course having sex with other people that's considered cheating but uh, other things like maybe communicating maybe talking to colleagues or such things that cannot be considered cheating so in my take cheating is of obviously um, getting intimate with another person who is not your partner yes it's nice but ni difficult pia because we are all humans to make mistakes like saka ni boy utaenda tu fcd huko nje eh difficult but it's nice but ukipata you are the right person uta uta control tu cheating inakuja kama mpenzi wako wewe na yeye amuelewani katika mahusiano hiyo naona ni cheating already maybe kama kuna vitu anakudanganya katika mahusiano akuweki wazi about your your friends wenye tumeongelewa kwanza maybe friends wengine wana feature anadanganya ni friends kumbe ni ni wapenzi na kando Yeah, cheating inakuja kwa njia kama hizo. Hakui muwazi kwako. I consider cheating it's not only having sexual relations with a partner of the opposite sex. Well, I consider cheating as well flirting can be cheating, going to dates with the person of the opposite gender is cheating. So simply doing anything with a person of the opposite gender who may seem interested in you, I would consider that as cheating. Well, If your boyfriend or girlfriend disapproves of it then it's definitely cheating. Uh in what aspect? Emotionally, physically, uh, intimately, zote. First of all, if you're going to confide another person not me, you're cheating on me. If you're going through something just come and tell me. I I I value that a lot. Uh of course physically if you're going to sleep with another person what does that even mean? You're a cheater, a serial cheater, you should be convicted and jailed. Yeah. Yeah. Kuna mtu amesema kama ilikulwa imeenda but personally I feel like if you're doing anything behind my back 
that is cheating. I don't mind if you go out with other girls and go on dates and stuff. If I don't know about it, that is definitely cheating. We have come to the end of this show. Thank you for watching. See you next time.